welcome in Poland. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. So What's proud. about first impressions after the show? I'm really happy because, to be honest with you, everybody, the team, the girls, everybody was so positive and beautiful that we had a wonderful time. Okay, it's great to hear it. It's a pleasure. And what can you say about the meaning uh, of showing this uh, historical collection in Poland? It's something beautiful because my father has always had a relationship with Poland. He worked with Jean-Paul II. He's uh, very close to Anya. Anya, that, so we have a, many, many ties. And this is the first time that we got to show the entire retrospective in this film. And I'm really happy that we got to do it in Poland for the first time. I'm very proud. So we have seen some kind of timeline of Castel Bajak, or you picked just the best pieces? And we picked pieces that would go together and show everything as a whole. There were some dresses that were really important to put in and other dresses that showed well his style and who he is. Okay, so can you tell us something about the pieces? Well, look for example this one. This is Uvarma and in the back I have a dream. So this piece for example he did right when uh, Uvarma became president. So it was really important to not only show fashion for its beauty but show fashion for the political aspect that it can have, for the importance that it can have for people to wear things and represent what they believe in. So this piece was very important. This is a uh, So it's another piece of art, but this is talking more about history. My father is very much into history, very much into understanding the past to better live the future. And putting all of it together for me was very emotional because all of a sudden I could see all this work that I've seen ever since I was a kid. I mean, he would not sleep and draw at night. And when we were going to school, he would still be drawing and we would go and give him a kiss. And then, and we lived, you know, fashion shows is very complicated because you have the fashion world, you have these moments where you have a lot of work and then it just calms down. So we live this with him because we were his children. Can you say us something about your role in modern Castel Bajan fashion house? Yeah, absolutely. So we've now started a company which does more art direction. So me and my brother and my father. And we have this company where we do many different projects on many different things. Fashion, art, design, many different things. You always have the father which is on top, but we're next to him. I have the feeling that your father and the Castel Bajac fashion house uh, was some kind of prediction of sport chic, you know. Yes. Your father knew that the sport chic will be the future. Yeah, I think ever since the beginning, my father wanted to do clothes that were not just beautiful, but that were, he was always obsessed with all the clothes that were useful, utilitarian. So for example, the army, why was this pocket here? Why was this pocket here? So ever since he was always interested, even with Iceberg, to do these things that were not just beautiful, but functional as well. He's working with Lecoq Sportif and with all these other companies because he's been doing this kind of modern sporty design for 40 years. And if you could choose one piece of art of your father to uh, stay in people's imagination, what would it be? I think that for that, I would have to choose some of his drawings. Some of the things that he does, he's been doing more recently. Where he draws, you know, he draws a lot of chalk on the walls. Just simple drawings. But it touches you because it's simple and truthful and it's for everybody. And there's this idea that it's chalk, so it's going to disappear. So you're going to see it and then we'll see what happens afterwards. But you will always remember the image that you have of the drawing that he drew. It's very similar to fashion. Yeah. It's here and it's done. And it's done, exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So tell me, how does it feel like to be wearing like Madonna. the yes. iconic, most vintage piece of Castelbajac? Yes, I'm uh, speechless. <laughs>